Well, our next guest star says the ever popular Brooke Davis on the hit show One Tree Hill, mm. which begins its fifth season on the CW. Here's the lovely Sophia Bush. Sophia Bush, how are you? Nice to see you. Adorable. Look at Sophia Bush. It's eight. Oh, look at that one Tree Hill fans. Well, Sophia, it's 15 degrees outside, but you're warming us all up here. Warming up in the studio audience. Look at you. Thank you. What a fresh face, huh? Oh, gorgeous. You know, I've only been up since 5:30, so I'm not that fresh anymore. You just got back from Whistler. Yeah. So I, I hear a little raspiness in your voice. Is that from the cold? A little bit. The cold air does it to me. I'm, I'm so raspy as it is, and this whole 20 degree thing is, mm -hmm. is getting sure. pretty good. Wait, are you, a, are you a skier? I'm actually learning to snowboard. Uh huh. Uh, but at least I was prepared for the cold and whistler with all the layers, but the layers didn't help me so much when I ran to the mountain. <gasps> uh, Did you I hurt yourself? A little. I, I landed on <gasps> that part of my knee there. I, I fell on black home and I, I figured I'd gone down this whole mountain. It, it was my own fault because I took a lesson the first day. And my instructor goes, don't let your friends take you up the mountain tomorrow because mm -hmm. they're going to try to get you down runs that you're not ready for. Right. And I went up to Whistler with some of my friends from work, one of our stunt guys and Paul Johansson and James Lafferty. Mm -hmm. And Stephen Coletti was supposed to come with us, but mm -hmm. he really hurt his shoulder the week before in Mammoth. So he's going, be careful, it's really icy because it's so cold, don't fall. And I'm like, I'm not going to hurt myself. Cut to me laying in this pile on the mountain, and I landed just on my knee, and I have all these little kids from ski school going by yeah. me, and they're four, and they're <laughs> shooting around me, and I'm like, this is so humiliating. <laughs> yeah, so sure. You see the executive producers are so not going to let you guys do anything anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's okay, though. It's, it, today's the first right. day that I actually don't have two kneecaps, mm. and the, the bruising has gone mm. down a lot. So I, I hate skiing. I think there's no sport in the <laughs> world. Yeah where there's so much trouble to get from your house to the top of that mountain yeah. that nothing is worth that. Nothing is worth it. You know, I had a really good time when you're, when you're going and not falling. It's so peaceful. But I want to snowboard because at least then my feet are in one place. Skis and I, I think, would be bad. Mm. I would be the person sort of yard sailing down the mountain with my legs going in every direction. And they'd, yes. they'd be yeah. falling. And sure. You know, I know the, I'd hurt the, myself. My fifth grade trip was to, to ski mountain in New Jersey. And by mountain, I mean hill. <laughs> and, um, and I broke my toe putting on my ski boot, and that was it. That I, was took that, I took that as a sign that yeah. I must never ski, ever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I had the whole mentality of, you know, if you fall off a horse, you're supposed to get back on. So I, I hurt myself no on Wednesday. There. No, but I, I figure, you know, I, I don't want my last experience on this trip to have been a bad one. So... Thursday morning I'm you know doing breakfast and lacing up my boots and Glenn comes out and he's this huge stunt guy and he's used to injuries and he goes you have gotta be kidding me you're not going back up there and I was like oh yes I am <gasps> so I went and I went and did the mountain one more time on Thursday before let's I left you. let's hear it for Sophia Bush not afraid of that mountain we'll be right back in a moment yeah one Tree Hill, but on the air, going into its fifth season now on the CW. Unbelievable. That went fast five years. It sure did. And, but the first four years, you were in high school, right? Mm hmm And now you have just skipped the whole college, and you're back, you're in business now. Yeah. yeah. It, it was sort of a neat thing, you know. They figured that everyone has seen the college years with so many of their yeah, favorite true. teen shows. So we get the opportunity to show everyone a new side of these characters that they love. And, and it really, I think, gives the audience and us the chance to grow with these people past a point that mm -hmm. you normally get to mm -hmm. in a series. So you, you were kind of like a party girl, but now yeah. you're a fashion mogul. I like to say that Brooke was a lovable mess. Yeah. <laughs> and now she's running this huge company and she has a magazine and apartments in New York and, you know, all of these things that would be it's everyone's so dream. It's because you get to wear great clothes. I know. Yes, but Very despite important. all that... Brooke is not happy. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, it's the adage of money can't buy happiness, and she goes home to try to figure out what she needs for her soul in her life, because mm -hmm. her business is where she wants it to be, but she still doesn't feel like she's really on her own two feet. And it's funny, because everyone's now coming to her for advice, and she's mm -hmm. going, I still need help. Sure. Right. And where's home? Uh, out of New York's... 
Yeah, city. It's, it's our fictional town of Tree Hill, North Carolina. Tree Hill, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. But here's the problem with Brooke. She doesn't have a man in her life, right? No. Mm. Well, no mans. This is the first season I have gone 12 whole episodes without having to make out with anybody. Oh, that's going to be so great. It's incredible. It's, it's I can't be believe it. Although I do have a, a, a love interest who's coming into the picture this season. He's oh, lovely, really? but we haven't had to kiss yet. Uh -huh. mm. And how do you meet this guy? He, well, I don't know if I can tell you. He's associated with one of our local haunts on the show. Mm. Oh, oh God, one of those I guys. always give things away, and then I get yelled at get after yelled the fact. Yeah. So my, that's all right, but there's careful. love interest coming to Brooke's life, and mm -hmm. that's going to solve all of her problems. You know, it might give her a little perspective. He's they, a little older. Oh, really? He's a little wiser. How old is he? <laughs> huh? Older than me. <laughs> not, 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 he, you know. Never mind you, is he older than me? <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at a clip now. And in this scene, your mom, played by yes. Daphne Zuniga, is not too happy that you left New York to return home. No, she's Take not a look pleased. at this. So, this is why you disappeared from your work and your life and your family for a half built shop in the middle of a half dead town. Don't say that, Trio's home. Not anymore. Get in the car. No. Brooke, just. Listen to me, please. For the last couple of years, you have told me what to do, who to date, what to say, and I've let you because you are the brains behind this whole operation. And the company didn't seem to suffer. I agree, and I am grateful, but I've learned a lot, and I know that I can do this. Just give me a chance to prove it to you. It never ends for Sophia Bush. Mm -hmm. One Tree Hill, Tuesday night, 9 o'clock, on the CW. Great to see you. Good luck to you, Sophia. Nice to meet you. Natasha Bedingfield in just a moment. We'll be right back.